Did you know that out of the whole animal kingdom, 75% of the species are insects? Scientists estimate that there's already about a quarter of a million species, and there's many more that they're still identifying. One of the most infamous insects, the mosquito. Hi. I'm Janice Crenetti. I've been teaching people about animals and the environment for over 20 years. I'm here to talk to you today about different types of mosquitoes. Well, interestingly enough, mosquitoes are actually grouped by where they lay their eggs. There's three main groups that we're going to talk about today. The first group is a group that needs to lay its eggs in, um, in an area that there's going to be flooding. The eggs hatch once, the, once there's been enough water moving through the plain. That's the type of mosquito that actually causes yellow fever. There's another type of mosquito. They're called Anopheles, and they're some of the most commonly known mosquitoes, like the one that causes malaria. They like to lay their eggs in permanent water areas, like a small pond, let's say. Then there's a third type of mosquito. That's the one that uh, the northern house mosquito falls into. We have a lot of those down in Florida. They like to lay their eggs pretty much anywhere. There's even a little tiny bit of water. One ounce of water is enough for them to lay their eggs. That's why it's a good reason for you, if you live in an area where there tends to be a lot of mosquitoes, to make sure after it rains, empty those pots, those bowls, anything that will collect water to keep the mosquitoes from breeding in your backyard. So that's one of the main ways that scientists tell different parts of mos diff different mosquitoes apart. Lots of different mosquitoes. They do lots of different things for the environment. But mostly what you want to do is avoid getting bit by one. I'm Janice Crenetti, and this is Different Types of Mosquitoes.